I, uh, I have a complaint, and it is a minor complaint, and it's for Hal, not for you guys specifically, and that was around excursions. Between the cluster that was the, uh, the website and um, how few events there were, that the, the couple of things that I would like to have done, by the time I got on, they were gone. I got waitlisted, and nothing ever happened with that. And that was kind of disappointing. It would have been nice to even to know that, yeah, we're not going to be able to put any other um, lectures on, you know, on, we're not going to be able to do additional events, but it was just, it's like the first time I haven't been able to do any excursions during one of these things, and I kind of would love to, especially in a new place like St. Croix. Yeah, I, I believe that there are some feedback forms that uh, you could get from the front desk on the ship where you could share that feedback with Holland America, but okay. I, will, I will also say that this year especially, one thing that we've seen is that you know, when you get an email from Home America about your booking, it's an email that says, please see the attached PDF for the message. And then the attached PDF says, please go to our website to see an update about your booking. Um, which probably made a lot more sense when they were uh, faxing those PDFs out to the travel agents who made the booking. Um, but they have had to completely re-architect their check-in process. And, and you know, okay, I don't, I do not like how broken that website has has been, and it's not, it's not only been broken now, but they have had to rebuild so many parts of their system to accommodate the global changes. Um, and we saw that the shore excursion launch process this year was a lot more hectic, and that there was less, there were fewer people who were available to assist, and. We're really sorry, we didn't want it to be that way, but also I, I do think it's going to get back to the level it was at in terms of usability before, soon. <laughs> and, and they know it, of course, yeah. uh, and that we all, we all want there to be the opportunities, and, and part of it's ports too. So the ports that we're going to be going to next year, um, we have a more developed, uh, more developed short excursion programs too. And at least the town was close to exactly yes, right, right. which wasn't and the case. That was absolutely part of our decision for that. And also, every place is experiencing the same staffing issues and COVID restrictions that we all have been. And I, you know, I, I remember seeing when, when they sent us the list of what excursions were going to be available. Like they, they knew and they wanted to be able to offer additional timings for excursions stuff. And I think it was as much as anything for some cases, it's, they don't have the staff to extend that. So we, but we understand your frustration. Yeah, and just, and just knowing that. Yeah, would help. To, yeah, 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 exactly. It's like if I'm not going to hear from them, okay. You know, yeah, I agree. And I, I encourage you to, to uh, give the feedback directly to okay. Hal because they, um, one thing that I can say about them is they're really great at responding to feedback. And you, you might even get a plate of chocolate covered strawberries out of it. I'm not going to promise that's a good point. Yeah, but I can't eat that stuff. So oh, well, there you go. <laughs> you might want to mention on your feedback form which, which <laughs> sorts of food, which food which treats you like. <laughs> oh, by the way, love oatmeal cookies. <laughs> but I'm sorry, I'm sorry that that happened, and I totally, I totally hear you, and it, it is just a part of the, you know, everybody's kind of struggling to keep every, keep the wheels the wheels on it. Yeah, point. the fact the fact that this happened at all was you know kind of a minor. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The fact that there were screw ups at various stages, like yeah, okay. Right, right, right. Yeah. But it doesn't make it any less frustrating. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you. Yeah. And I mean, I, I will just share one more thing, kind of generally about planning this year is that uh, it when you're working with a cruise line, it's very easy to see it as a monolith and where there is no excuse for any fuck up. And where everything should be oh, so I know I said that. But where and where everything should be working perfectly, and where everything has a process, and um, over the course of building our partnership with Hall America Line and seeing this happen, and then working through the pandemic with them, with all of the changes and all of the rescheduling of other sailings, the cancellation of our site inspection sailing, um, you know. You just you just start you, you start to see that there it really is a bunch of people who are all working as hard as they can to like hold back the tide and keep the thing going at all and, and we we are very grateful to them that they made this possible and that they have helped to smooth things out not just on the guest side but also they have been partnering to us in, in helping us figure out how to make this workable in a, an era that it's impossible to plan for. Yeah. We uh, we usually have. 
what's called a site inspection cruise about a month before this cruise, where a number of our staff and ourselves sail on board for a week on the ship. We meet the specific department heads who will be on board for our event. We talk through our entire, uh, it's a whole lengthy, 100 some page memo uh, with multiple sections. And this year, our site inspection cruise got canceled the day before we were supposed to sail on it. Literally, as the lift was coming to pick me up to go to the yeah, site inspection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, I mean, that's usually where we get, we go through all of the logistics of our event. And we had, and it's, it's super helpful to do it on site because you can just see things and go, oh, right, that too, and just talk to people immediately. So we ended up having to sort of kludge together over a series of conference calls and then Drew and uh, one or two other of our, our staff uh, sailed last week, uh, Drew at least for a few days, to sort of do a hurried, finished version of that. And we could not have been happier with the way the, the staff, all the staff, but these, the department heads this year just were ready to go, absolutely immediately responsive to all our various requests and have done a phenomenal job, especially without, I, I'm, I'm amazed we accomplished it without a site inspection this year. Yeah. And it went better than most, some of our cruises that have had site inspection. So we, again, give it up for you know, that half time. And also give it up for the, the people shore side at HAL who have helped us as things have been rescheduled. We have a uh, charter representative now that's on here. And then there's also one person, Linda, who inputs, we can import your names automatically into the system the first time that we submit the manifest. And any time the manifest changes after that, Linda needs to change it. Manual. Um, yeah, anyway. uh, so yeah, let's just give a thank you to Linda. Yeah, Linda.